Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading with the saucy beaver here, Mega. Hello, baby. Where's baby? Ah, oh, baby over here. Let's get baby right over here. There we go. All right, guys. I am on to quickly share um, a message from the masculines. I keep hearing, like, I ain't going nowhere. I am here to stay. You are going to have to ask me to leave if you want me to go. This is a really passionate masculine that I'm challenging or <laughs> challenging. <laughs> this is a really masculine. <laughs> it's a really passionate masculine that I'm channeling. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what the messages have to say. Okay, so I wonder if you're happy without me and we will be together again. So they could be missing you. Um, I feel like this is a message coming through for those of you who like you have divine masculines who are really reflecting on the connection between you both and i feel like like they only want you um there's something about uh, i don't know like there's something about staying this time around like i'm here to stay um or they need you to stay you know that song by justin bieber and um it was a curie kid i think Check out those uh, those lyrics, guys, because that could mean something for those of you who who are who are resonating with this reading. I need you to stay. Need you to stay. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, and they're not going anywhere. Let's get the tarot of sexual magic on this. How are they feeling for you intimately, divine feminine? What's making them feel so passionate? Like this whole energy of I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so we have the judgment card, guys. I'm just going to flash it really quickly here. Um, for me, the judgment card represents a lot of your masculines, like having experiences where they choose anything else but the connection. Okay, so many of them have been tossed around, roll through the mud. Um, you know, a lot of them aren't fighting it anymore. They don't want to fight this whole twin flame thing. Okay, because fighting it means that they're gonna get hurt and they don't want to get hurt they're tired of it i feel like this is a group of masculines who are like damn like i'm tired of fighting this like you tell me what you want to do you tell me when you want me where you want me how you want me and i'll be there okay like they're handing over control or they're surrendering at this time um i feel like it's because they feel like they're under judgment each time they choose anything else but the connection because some of the things that they have been choosing uh, it's only caused them to attract more karma or experience a lot of like tower moments okay many of them have been trying to like stop drinking they want to take their career seriously they want to um like just clean up shop in their in their life and they've been forever distracted um by by the things that they've been choosing to go towards and i feel like for the first time in their life they're starting to realize that Whenever they move in the direction of the Divine Feminine, just good things start happening, okay? How do they feel in their heart space for you? What do they want to reveal? Okay, so we have romantic feelings coming up again, guys. You've stolen their heart. Like, I feel like you make them want to stay. There is something about this Divine Feminine energy. Whoever is tuned in and you're the Feminine energy watching this, like, without even trying, you have this beautiful way of making your Divine Masculine feel loved, unconditionally <laughs> you make them feel very safe to be themselves and i feel like they're at ease because they can be themselves um, a lot of them too are needing a lot of sensual healing okay so this could be in the form of these romantic feelings that are coming through it says your feelings are real and worth exploring the reason they want to communicate with you so much at this time um, a lot of you might be going through um like situations where you're you're in touch with your masculine again and it's like you're noticing a huge change or a huge difference it's like like you know they want to communicate they want to know what you're up to they're interested okay and it's been a huge shift for a lot of you but they want to explore these romantic feelings more i feel like they want to talk to you as well like they don't only want to like touch you and, and kiss you and caress you but it's like also share their thoughts on how it is they feel that's too many um let's cut it right in half uh how else are they feeling in their heart space what else do they want to reveal soulmate guys i feel like these two cards came up already in the last reading didn't it romantic feelings and the soulmate card i feel like these cards came up together 
um, you know, it's just a huge confirmation for those masculines who are ascending, okay? A lot of them are starting to realize that, yeah, like, you're their soulmate, you're their twin flame. You know, many of you who are in the feminine energy, you might refer to it as twin flame, most likely because you've done a little bit more research, a little bit more study. <laughs> but I feel like soulmate is something that your divine masculine might say. Do you know what I mean? Like, they don't really vibe with the whole twin flame thing. They think it's too new age. <laughs> but the term soulmate, like, it definitely resonates for some of them. That's what they're feeling, and that's what they're trying to... Like, it's almost like they're trying to explain it to themselves, you know? Each time they question themselves, like, why? Like, why am I so drawn to her, him? Why am I so obsessed? Why am I so pulled, like, magnetized to this person? They can't seem to figure it out. Um, but when they, when they do, when they sit alone and they assess these romantic feelings, that's the word that ends up coming up. Maybe they're my soulmate, you know what I mean? It's like... These are the kinds of things that some of your masculines are thinking about right now, guys. Okay, I'm going to shuffle it again, and then I'm going to cut the deck right in half. Okay, so we have children coming through as well. I'm not getting a message about either of you having children. I'm more getting a message about returning back to your inner child. You know, it's almost like the flirt card, right? Look at this little pouch. Um, the little flirt, the, the little flirt card, little pouch, the flirt card is actually about letting like your youthful spirit of fun and joy to like shine through. That's what I feel like your person feels. It's like a big indicator that this is my person. This is my soulmate. Like the reason I have all of these strong feelings for you is because they feel like they've known you forever, right? They've known you like since time is what I'm hearing and that's why a lot of them they could be like putting two and two together trying to piece things together that says you know like again each time when I pull away from this connection I seem to attract a lot of karma a lot of tower moments it's because they're not living authentically they're not living up to I've, I guess the vision that they had for themselves as children you know as much as you might be romantic and and you want love divine feminine um the version of your divine masculine that you see before you is a version of your masculine i feel that has been they've been through it you know but what what i feel like this children card is trying to say is that before they went through it they always hoped that they would find true love in this lifetime okay a lot of your masculines may not admit it and many of you may be <laughs> like you may be saying to yourselves like nah there's no way but yeah like they've had certain experiences in their lifetime that's kind of turned them cold but before those experiences with other karmic partners i feel like you and your divine masculine are very very similar in the sense that you both have always pictured that you would have healthy romantic true love in this lifetime and this could go way back even to your childhood you know it, it's like as a little girl you might have always pictured true love as your divine masculine as a young boy um you know they might have always pictured or not even pictured but they might have always held on to this sort of feeling like there's something bigger out there like there's something more to be experienced um but you know as they got older they met partners who are very irresponsible and careless with their heart so for a lot of you who are connecting as like divine masculine divine feminine i feel like this this connection is all about remembering and i feel like that's why the judgment card is coming out as a major arcana here it's because like how well do you know your person how well can you tap into the telepathy like how well do you know them right like i feel like for a lot of you you have been picking up on your twin flame for a really long time it's not just when you met them but you've been feeling their energy even before you met them you always knew that there was something bigger for you out there something that you were meant to experience and now your person is here and they are the ones that are having this major epiphany right now i feel like if you're in the masculine energy like a lot of the masculines are going wait a second wait a second like hold on like let me press the brakes on this 
that's my person like i love that person that's my divine feminine like whoever is the divine feminine energy that's what your masculines are saying at this time i feel like the romantic feelings for you the passion like a lot of the truth piecing things together it's all starting to make sense and that's what you, the divine masculine collective is saying right now no 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 i'm sure like that's my person that's my soulmate okay and and i feel like for a lot of them they held back on on expressing this truth for a really long time because this whole love thing being in love having a relationship like you know being romantic chasing after this feminine like it just didn't seem like something that they should be doing right but the more they get to know you you know at the top of the deck here we have the passion card the more passion they experience in the moments with you know chatting with you communicating with you i feel like more and more truth is coming to the surface and this is a group of divine masculines that are ready to charge in and reveal this truth to you okay the best way to bring it in is to actually believe the telepathy believe the energy that you're feeling you know on a 5d level try to stay away from anything 3d right now if you feel your person coming in like this don't go searching for a reading to clarify it instead meditate on it and ask the universe for a genuine sign that only you and your twin will resonate with all right guys that's what i have for you for tonight you guys take it easy and i will catch you tomorrow all right bye guys <laughs>